Hello, welcome to the Craft in Nook. It's Saturday the 10th of June 2023. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. I'm just here with a really short update on my cross stitch. I haven't showed anything for a few weeks. Um, I've been busy in the garden, planting up vegetables and flowers and everything and uh, general maintenance. And also we had um, a bit of bad news with Lyle, we lost my the last rabbit we we had. He was nearly nine and a half, and it just it didn't. I didn't feel like doing a video, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, but I'm here today. I did do some stitching. I got quite a bit of stitching in over the past few weeks. Um, I've only got three projects here to show you today, so it's going to be really, really quick. But I thought I'd come and touch base with you and let you know. So this is Buttercup by Nora Corbett. And she stitched on a piece of 14 count printed Ada. I got the Ada from Amazon. And there was um, mixed reviews on whether you can wash it or not. But some people said you can. So I'm going to try and wash mine and... A cool wash when it's finished I still want to put a face in her put some eyes I'm not sure which way to go about doing that yet but um, I will hopefully figure it out so yeah so she's a nice stitch I haven't used the call for beads I just used the beads that I had in my own stash so that's buttercup I've done quite a bit really when I started this on the 6th of June 2022 um, in memory of my mother who passed away on that date in 2017 so it's been a year so far and hopefully I'm not going to take too long to finish it but I don't really know but you know I, I, I am enjoying it when I work on it I did I haven't used Krynik on there. I used another metallic thread that I had. It looks better in real life than it does on the camera, the thread does. So, sorry about the noise then. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it won't take too long to finish. But I'm not in any rush really because I've got other things I want to work on. And that's Buttercup. Next up, I don't have a picture for this one, is Ashley's Roses and this is on a hand dyed Ada, 16 count Ada that I hand dyed myself using ice cubes and um, like a cochineal food colouring stuff in a green and it has got mottling on it and it looks really good in real life but the camera's not picking it up. So that's Ashley's Roses. I started this about six years ago <laughs> and it's been really slow going because I was working on the dress here and because it's just like all whites and greys and those type of colours it was quite mundane and I wasn't getting anywhere fast with it really so I decided then to start up here and work up so since the last time you've seen this I've pretty much done all this section here and I'm happy with how she's progressing now I'm enjoying it when I stitch on it and um, I can see a finish in sight with this now whereas before it wasn't one I was picking up very often um, yeah so that's ashley's roses this one is another one that was started about five years ago and i wasn't getting along with it very well i don't know why everybody seems to love this this chart this design and a breezing through there and i was just you know getting things wrong and all that so i wasn't enjoying mine but I picked it up and I've decided to start on the head 
and work down. And I know I've got this in here, but I'm going to take that out. I'm not going to put a border in it. I'm going to do the, the fish and the shell, but um, yeah, I'm not going to do the border. So that's Mermaid of Atlantis by Mirabilia. So these are all Mirabilia and Norco, but I'm showing you today now. So that's the last one I've worked on. I have worked on um, a couple of Bella Filipinas as well, like, like um, a Koi Pearl Mermaid, but I didn't do enough to show you. And Twisted Mermaids as well by Mirabilia. I did a, a bit, but not enough to show you. But these are the ones I've been focusing on this last few weeks to get some progress on. And I'm really liking how she's coming along now. I've made some mistakes. I make mistakes in all of my things. But, you know, it's, an, it's only for me in my house. So I don't really care about the mistakes too much. And um, I, I'll just carry on. So this is on a Paul Stitches 16 count Ada. I don't know the colourway on this. Like I say, it was started such a long time ago. I've lost all that type of information but yeah so she is a nice stitch now now that I'm getting going on it I think it was because I was working all here and I was just getting so confused but um yeah I'm doing doing okay with it now so that's right so that's Mermaid of Atlantis I nearly forgot what I was saying and yeah it's been a bit of a it's been quite uh, a few weeks, it's not, you know, it hasn't been a good few weeks. So yeah, so that's all of the projects I've worked on this past few weeks since I last did a video. I've mainly been working in the garden because there was an awful lot to do. I wanted to plant up everything and um, work through like a, a monthly monthly system with the seeds and stuff so that's why you haven't seen me for a while i'm gonna i'm gonna do another video on the dolls houses soon because i know that i have quite a few subscribers that are into miniatures and dolls houses and i haven't forgot about that i do enjoy it and i will be getting back into it soon but at the minute my attention is on the garden quite a bit so um, I will put a few updates with the garden on here and the pond. We have two resident frogs now. One one came back from the from the from the tadpoles we had last year. One of the frogs came back, so he's only a little thing, about maybe not even two inches, but um, he's back, and we've got a bigger one there than an older frog. We've still got our sticklebacks. We have net those. <laughs> they had babies and the babies have gone missing, but the bigger sticklebacks are still there. So I think they are kind of, um, they're all right because of the spines they've got on them. <laughs> so they, the frogs won't eat those. But anyway, that's that. And I'll come back again in a few weeks and do another update on the other things I've worked on. I'm going to put these three projects away now and switch to something else for a, a few weeks and then i'll come and show you the progress on those but i hope everybody's um safe and well and staying safe it's been really dry here in south wales and um, we've had a downpour today which was quite welcome and i i stood out in it filming, <laughs> filming the garden i wouldn't normally stand out in rain but i did and um yeah, I kind of rushed through my video, so I'm sorry about that if you're going to watch that one as well. And, um, yeah, but everything's coming along nicely, so I'm really pleased with that because we are learning. We don't know anything about what we're doing, and we've had quite a lot of fails, but we are getting some successes, and it's really nice. We're enjoying... Um, I, I'm loving going out in the garden and picking the, the veg, just veggies salad and whatever and you know we're having it for dinner and all that we've made pizzas and everything from the peppers and stuff we've got so I'm really enjoying it but yeah back to cross stitch <laughs> I 
back to another video soon. So I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. And, you know, you're warm enough, cool enough, dry enough. <laughs> and um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.